New tonight, a worker fired, accused of sleeping on the job, but the way he was caught could have his company in hot water and several employees facing criminal charges. CBS 4's David Seta takes a closer look at what your boss can and can't do to keep you, an eye on you at work. You're watching video of two people setting up a hidden camera. Can you cover the red circle? The lens eventually aimed at Mark Ferguson's office space. He found himself on hidden camera. You feel violated. Ferguson discovered the camera while working his overnight shift at a metal manufacturer in Massachusetts. He believes his campaign for union president was the reason management wanted to keep an eye on him. Oh, I think I had a reputation, yeah. In April, his employer fired him, accusing him of sleeping on the job with video evidence to prove it. But little did his bosses know, Ferguson had spotted the camera and taken it home for a closer look. I'm thinking what my 13-year-old son said, Dad, this is against the law. His employer wouldn't talk to the media about the hidden camera, calling it a personal issue. Can't shoot video. And didn't even want us taking video of their building. That's good. In Florida, when a camera records audio at work without your consent, it's a violation of the law. It's also a violation of the law in Massachusetts, which is why Ferguson brought it to Grafton Police. This wasn't professional in any manner. This was spying. But here's the reality in almost every workplace in the country, whether it's obvious or not, you're likely being videotaped in almost every part of the building. Generally speaking, if you surreptitiously, secretly record someone by audio, you're subject to a wiretapping statute and you don't want to violate that law. In most cases, courts tend to side with businesses in privacy cases. Some workers, though, are fighting back. This summer, two dozen police officers at the VA Medical Center in Washington, D.C. filed this federal lawsuit, claiming their bosses planted these hidden recording devices at work. Recording audio without consent can get you into problems. Ferguson is now speaking out to get his job back. He argues the evidence used to fire him was gathered illegally. They knew what they were doing. They never thought for once, though, that I'd find the camera or that the camera would be found and that they would have been dumb enough to turn the camera on while they were setting the camera up. Ferguson will have his day in court next month. Just to be clear, in Florida, you can be recorded at work, but they cannot record audio without your consent. In the newsroom, David Sada, CBS 4 News.